Hello and welcome to my video lecture on the use of an array uh, to catch uh, values uh, submitted by checkboxes. Um, so checkboxes can be a little bit of a pain uh, in that uh, if someone doesn't check them off, uh, really nothing gets sent uh, to the post array. So here we've got uh, a little form, a couple of uh, text input boxes, uh, a set of radio buttons and we have three checkboxes. So what we want to do is, uh, so how this works, right? So here I've got my toppings from my pizza and if I submit that, uh, get nothing back. So nothing gets put into uh, the post array. Uh, so it's never set. So then we come back here and I click off pepperonis and I click off olives and I submit, I get pepperonis and olives but nothing gets submitted for toppings two, right? So if I go back and I take a look at my PHP, here I've got toppings two, nothing ever appears there. That doesn't get sent uh, to the post array. So what I, another way of handling checkboxes is to use an array uh, to grab their value. So here you can see we're using uh, what would be the normal technique. We're looking at the post array. We're checking to see if topping one, topping two, or topping three uh, gets set. What we want to do is uh, use a different method for trying to do that. So back here in my index PHP, instead of calling these topping one, topping two, and topping three, we're going to call them the top array. And inside of this array, we will get values back. Right, so simply by doing that, I change the name to top, and I use uh, an open and close square bracket, and that will basically tell uh, PHP that I am going to store uh, the values for these checkboxes in this array. So I'll save that. Now I come to my uh, subscribed PHP, which is the form that gets called, or the page that gets formed after the form gets submitted, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to check uh, using the is set function and then if I'm going to check to see if is set I'm going to check the post array to see if the post array has top in it so if top oops, sorry, got to put my apostrophes in there so I'm going to check to see if the top array has been uh, set which means one of the checkboxes got checked off right um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, if it has, right, so now I know uh, we've got a value in there somewhere, so something was checked off. So if something was checked off, uh, I'm going to set uh, toppings equal to the post array array uh, called top. Just like that. So right now, toppings is now my local variable that references the post array, uh, the post array's top array, okay? Two arrays in one. Um, arrays can get pretty complicated that way, but we won't get into that. Now what I can do is I can start looping through um, my uh, local array toppings, and I can take out of it the values that I need. Um, now I'm going to reference them uh, using um, their uh, numeric index. Right? So there's going to be a topping 0, uh, toppings 1, toppings 2. Now this is only going to be the case if uh, they've checked them all off. Right? So if I do 1 and I do 2, then what I can do is I can echo these out. So here um, I've got an echo statement that I'm using in a previous uh, data element, so I'm just going to use it here. Actually, let me uh, go back and I'll change this to look for top one. Okay, if you stop scrolling around on me, things will be a lot better. <laughs> so I'm going to copy this, and I'll copy this down. And obviously this is going to be top one, uh, top two, and this is going to be top three. All right, so now 
I'm checking to see if anything's been checked off. If anything's been checked off, I'm going to take the top array and I'm going to put it into my local toppings array. And then I'm going to put into my three local variables uh, the, date, the, the value that comes back from using these three uh, index keys. So we'll save that and we'll see what happens. Right? So if I check all three of them off, let me just refresh this. If I check all three of these off and I click submit, um, oh, look at that again, undefined variable top two. Let me see what I did there. I hate it when that happens. Oh, and there we go. Copied and pasted. Forgot to fix things. That's all. All right, so I save that. I'm going to go back. Submit. Now I've got my pepperoni, my mushrooms, my olives. Now what happens if I don't put in mushrooms? All right, so now I'm going to get pepperoni and olives, but where are they going to show up? Notice they show up in the, the zeroth element and the first element. There is no, so by going here, mushrooms would normally be the second one but the array is only getting populated with values that are entered, right? So now I get pepperoni and olives, so the top array, the zeroth element is pepperoni, the first element is olives, mushrooms didn't get selected at all, so that means the third element, or the second or the element two, um, in the top array never gets populated with anything. So little bit of an issue there um, and what we can do with that is uh, go back and do a test to see if these were set right so if is set uh, toppings zero then you set it and put it in so now we have some nested ifs going on in there uh, the or the other way of doing this is I can go in here and I can put in uh, a for each loop all right, so now I've got toppings as my local array. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a for each. And inside the for each, I've got to reference my local variable toppings. And then uh, I'm going to set that as key. And then I'm going to reference the value. I'm just going to call it key and value. Um, oops. Need my dollar signs. All right, so there's my key and my value. Um, so this is going to loop. All right, so I'm going to open up my curly braces, and then as this loops, what I want to do is I want to echo out. Um, so I'm going to echo out uh, the key value. Right, or the key, which would be the zero, the one, or the two, something along those lines. Um, I'm going to concatenate that um, with an equal sign. I'm going to concatenate that uh, with my value. All right, so dollar value, um, and I'll concatenate that. Um, and I've been doing. Um, Paragraphs. I'm going to finish a paragraph there, and here I'll just start off a paragraph key, uh, paragraph tag. I can't make that. Let me just put in my apostrophes. So I'm going to echo out a paragraph that consists of, consists of the key value, uh, the key, whatever the key is, equal to whatever the value is. Maybe this will make it a little clearer. Uh, what's actually going on. So I'm going to save that back to my web page, click submit. Um, expecting ORs, where's my line 46? Oh, semicolon. <laughs> I tell you, the semicolons are going to be the death of me. So I'm going to go back and then I'll submit. And then you see that. Right, we still have the problem. I didn't fix that. Um, so offset number two for the top array never gets defined. So you can see that the zeroth element is pepperoni and the first element is olives. 
that changes, right? If we, you know, if I get rid of pepperoni and I submit, now I get olives. Now offset one, offset two doesn't exist, and my for loop will go through. So in those cases, you might be better off uh, using your for each loop as you go through your checkboxes um, in order to avoid any of those, um, you know, undefined elements. Or either that, like I said, you could go through and put another if statement in each of these to check to make sure is topping zero set, is toppings one set, is toppings two set, and so on um, as you go through your checkbox data. All right, so uh, that ends my uh, video lecture on um, checkboxes and the use of an array to take care of checkbox values um, and even a for each loop. And now that you know how to do it, I'd love to see uh, you use this in uh, your projects.